And now, the results of my survey. May says she's seen the wind move a tissue. Gabriella's seen the wind move a newspaper. Now you come back here, newspaper. <laughs> and Gerald has seen the wind move his hair. And maybe you've seen the wind move something, too. Well, there you have it. I am Sid, roving reporter and wind expert. Everybody, rug time. Ooh, that's teacher Susie. It's rug time. Come on in. Rug time. Take a seat. Uh, I stopped. <laughs> oh, and here comes the wind again. <laughs> Watch out! Like a tornado. <laughs> Yay, awesome. Wow, it's windy inside the classroom today. Mm, yeah, and it was a windy night at my house. I raked up a pile of leaves, and then the wind blew them all over the backyard. Oh, no! That wasn't very nice of the wind. Yeah, thanks, May. You're welcome. Susie, uh, what exactly is wind? Good question, Gabriella. When the air around us moves, it creates wind. But if wind is just air, can it really move big things like Sid's pile of leaves? Oh, that's another good question. And I have some pictures over here that will help answer that. Oh. Okay, well, the wind is a kind of weather. And sometimes there's a soft, light wind. And sometimes there's a big, strong wind that can move big things. Ooh. Ooh. See? Here's the wind blowing a sailboat across the water. Ooh. Cool. Oh, neat. Yeah, and look. Here's the wind blowing on the water. <laughs> what is the wind making on the water? Waves! Right, yeah. waves, yeah. And look at this, these sand dunes. The wind actually moved the sand around. See, it formed hills with lines in the sand. Oh. Wow, the wind can do amazing things. Oh, you're right, May. Watch more on your local PBS station and the PBS Kids video app.